Okay, um, let's just review a little bit here. Uh, talk about prophecy, and we're going to try to catch us up real quick because I've got a lot of things that I do want to teach this evening. Prophecy is a kind of narrative, a prose, a poetry uh, that has a component of future fulfillment. We will mention this later tonight. Some much prophecy in the Old Testament has already been fulfilled. And that's why we made the second point, and that was that fulfilled prophecy, those prophecies that we can see were written in the Old Testament and then have been fulfilled, is one of the strongest arguments that we have for the truthfulness and the divine origin of the Bible. If you have a friend, you just, you know, I, I don't believe in the Bible. Well, let's take a look at some of these prophecies that have been fulfilled. And we won't go through those tonight because there's literally hundreds of them, but you should get a good book. Uh, and and uh, you can study those for yourself. There were three key questions that we asked ourselves last week that we were answering. We answered two of those. We haven't answered the third one yet, but has the church inherited the kingdom promises made to Israel? The short answer is no. Because we take a literal, grammatical approach to the Bible in all of its sections, of course there's poetry, there's symbolic sections, there's poetic sections, but where it's not clearly intended to be symbolic, we take those places literally, we, we understand there are still promises made to Abraham and to David and to the descendants of, of those men. Um, specifically, I'm thinking the nation of Israel. They were, there we go. Nation of Israel that have yet to be fulfilled. We'll talk about that tonight a little bit more. And then second question, who establishes that kingdom? Those kingdom promises made to Israel. Who establishes that kingdom? And we discuss the fact that the Bible teaches clearly Jesus has to establish that kingdom. It's not something you or I can do. It's not something, of course, there's people that don't, that say that.